Introduction of Binocular Refraction Binocular refraction is a clinical procedure in which the subjective refraction is performed monocularly under binocular viewing condition. In binocular refraction, both eyes are open, both eyes are unoccluded, both eyes view a common target. Principle of binocular refraction The right eye views only right portion target and left eye views only left portion target due to a fusion lock. Provide visual clues to both eyes that enable the binocular fusion necessary for association of target. Indication of binocular refraction 1. Refractive consideration Hyperopic anisometropia, antimetropia, latent hyperopia, pseudomyopia. 2. Visual equity consideration, anisoxiopia, unilateral amblyopia, unilateral reduced equity as a result of ocular disease. 3. Ocular motility consideration, significant horizontal, vertical, and cyclo associated phorias, cyclophoria, latent nystigmas. Advantages of binocular refraction Accommodation, convergence, light adaptation are more constant, refractive status evaluated in more nearly normal environment, detection of suppression, measurement of stereopsis, measurement of fixation disparity. Method of binocular refraction Septum, polarization and fogging Septum method of subjective binocular refraction in septum method of subjective binocular refraction, a septum is used in the middle of the chart so that each eye views its respective target. Example, turbile infinity balance test. Here in this figure, this is septum due to which right eye views only right portion and left eye views only left portion. Now let's study about turbile infinity balance test. It consists of reversed equity chart containing two vertical columns of letter, mirror divided into equal sections by an opaque vertical septum having a width of approximately 3 cm. Septum is located along a track between the patient's eye and distance chart. Here in this figure, this is patient position, this is the chart behind the patient, this is mirror and this is reflected image of chart. Now let's study about a clinical procedure of turbile infinity test. 1. Patient preparation. Request patient to sit comfortably. Septum in center of the patient's viewing mirror. Instructed to hold his or her head in an upright position and not to move head from side to side. 2. Procedure After alignment, patient attention directed to the right side of chart. Then, identification of best vision sphere. It starts with retroscopic findings, that is, starting point and determination made until approximately 6 6 letters are clear then jackson cross cylinder to determine presence amount and orientation of astigmatism then fogging blur or fog the characters to approximate 6 12 level by adding 0.75 or 1 diopter spherical from this point Power is decreased in 0.25 steps until best or maximum visual equity is obtained. End point may be monitored by red green balance, that is, G group test, to avoid over minusing. Same procedure repeated for left eye. Polarization method of binocular refraction. Before starting, we need to know about what is polarization. Light is an electromagnetic wave which vibrates in multiple planes when passed through a medium. This is called unpolarized light. The process of transforming unpolarized light into polarized light is called polarization. 
in polarized light waves light vibrates in single plane here in this figure this is unpolarized light in which the light vibrates in multiple plane and this is polarized light after passing through the polarizer which vibrate in single plane now let's study about what is polarized chart and polarized letter polarized chart is a chart in which polarized letter are used in normal background and polarized letters are letters which reflected their light rays in only one direction if we use an analyzer perpendicular to the polarized letter it block all the light rays from polarized letter and black symbol in white background is seen by the patient now let's study about polarization method of binocular subjective refraction in polarization method of subjective binocular refraction polarized letters are used in normal background an analyzer is used in front of eye which allow right eye to view right half of the chart but block left half and allow left eye to view left half of the chart but block right half of the chart from view example 1 polarized letters and polarizing filters 2 back to graphic slides for projection now let's study about polarized targets and polarizing filter it's a simplified binocular subjective refraction proper positioning of septum is not necessary distance equity chart divided into two halves each covered by polarizing films now let's study about principle while examining right eye let's see what happened in right portion of the chart analyzer before right eye perpendicular to polarization angle of letter light from the letter in right half totally block but 50 percent of light from the white background is transmitted as a result black symbol in white background is produced here in this figure this is analyzer before right eye which is perpendicular to this polarized letter f as analyzer of right eye is perpendicular to polarized letter so it block all the light coming from the letter f but 50 percent light rays from background pass through the analyzer thus an image of black symbol f in white background is formed in the retina of right eye now let's see what happened in left portion of the chart analyzer before right eye parallel to polarization angle of letter 50 percent light from the letter in left half transmitted and 50 percent light from the background also transmitted as a result white blank field is produced here in this figure this is the analyzer before right eye which is parallel to polarization angle of letter l as analyzer is parallel to polarized letter so 50 percent light from the letter and 50 percent light from the background pass through the analyzer and both light rays intersect each other thus an image of white blank field is formed in the retina of right eye now let's study about the procedure patient sit comfortably and directed towards the chart analyzer plus before starting point now best vision sphere it start with retinoscopic findings that is starting point and determination made until approximately six six letters are clear then jackson cross cylinder to determine presence amount and orientation of astigmatism then fogging blur or fog the characters to approximate 6 12 level by adding 0.75 or 1 diopter spherical from this point power is decreased in 0.25 steps until best or maximum visual acuity is obtained in point may be monitored by red green balance which is duchrome test to avoid over minusing same procedure repeated for left eye fogging method of binocular refraction let's start with introduction Fogging refers to the technique of adding plus pure power during refraction in an attempt to control accommodation. The goal is to move the focal point in front of retina. Now let's study about principle. When 
her hyperopic eye has left uncorrected then when accommodation is relaxed light focuses behind the retina and the vision is slightly blurry here in this figure this is undercorrected hyperopic power due to which image formed behind the retina the patient accommodates to see better accommodation moves the focal point onto the retina here in this figure due to accommodation image formed in the retina now we fog the eye by adding enough flash power to move the focal point in front of the retina here in this figure this is fogging power due to which focal point move in front of retina if the patient accommodates now his vision will get blurrer instead of clearer thus accommodation is discouraged here in this figure due to accommodation of lens focal point move towards the lens which makes the image more blur now let's study about procedure fog both eyes with 0.75 or 1 diopter spherical direct patient to view 2 to 3 lens above the best vision alternately occlude each eye and ask the patient which eye sees clearer or sharper add plus 0.25 diopter spherical to the better eye until both eyes vision is equalized slowly reduced fog until best vision equity is reached step by step performing subjective binocular refraction step 1 starting point the objective results acts as a starting point from which the subjective refraction can take place the objective results include retinoscopy or to refraction the habitual spectacle correction or previous subjective refraction may use as starting point step 2 control of accommodation during refraction when we change trial lenses it causes fluctuating accommodation so accommodation needs to control in a relaxed state during refraction accommodation is maintained in a relaxed state by fogging technique in binocular refraction both eyes are unoccluded so accommodation needs to control in untested eye while examining testing eye so initially both eyes are fogged with 0.75 diopter spherical step 3 astigmatic correction in this step the presence amount and orientation of astigmatic power and axis is determined commonly used methods are jackson cross cylinder fan and block method clock dial method stenopic slit method step 4 monocular spherical in points the circle of least confusion are essentially brought to the outer limiting membrane of retina in two ways The monocular spherical in point providing maximum visual equity is first determined for one eye with second eye occluded and spherical in point providing maximum visual equity is determined for second eye with first eye occluded it is usually done by one duochrome or bichrome method two method of reduced contrast or illumination three trial frame method step 5 spherical equalization or binocular balancing spherical equalization or binocular balancing is to balance or equalize the state of accommodation of two eyes not visual acuity of two eyes allow both eyes have retinal images simultaneously in focus if differences in accommodative response between two eyes it causes inequality in clarity or size of the retinal images which lead to reduced stereo acuity reduce fusional amplitude cause discomfort and create visual inefficiency methods for binocular balancing one alternate occlusion two prism dissociated blur balance three prism dissociated red green or bichrome balance four humphries fogging method step 6 binocular spherical in points the eyes are simultaneously fogged and then unfogged until maximum binocular equity is attained the spherical in points are maximum plus or minimum minus power providing maximum binocular visual equity these in points are usually about plus 0.5 diopter spherical more plus or less minus than those found monocularly in the next video i will discuss about 
methods of identifying astigmatic power and axis in binocular subjective refraction. Stay with smart optometry.